In this video, we'll show you how to work with your compass and map together, taking a bearing off the map so you can plan the route of your next adventure. The map doesn't need to be oriented. Okay, on the map, ignore the needle. Mm -hmm. Ignore the needle. Ignore the needle. There's no magnetism on the map, so you don't use the needle with the map. And in fact, I think I'll just cover it up again. A bearing taken off the map is called a map bearing. Taking a map bearing is super easy. For this, you'll need to know where you are on the map. Draw an X. Find where you want to go. Now draw a line between where you are at the X on the map and where you want to go. You don't actually have to draw the line, but it makes it easier to see. Put either side of the base plate along that line. The rear of the compass the part that the lanyard holds closest to you goes where your rear is on the map at the X. So if your rear isn't up on that mountaintop, the rear of the compass shouldn't be there either. Turn the ring. You don't know the bearing, so you turn the ring to find it. To make the N on the ring go towards the top of the map. Remember, North is towards the top of the map, so the N on the ring has to end up towards the top of the map too. Got that part? You turn the ring so you set the bearing. Read the bearing at the bearing pointer. 320 degrees. Is that easy or what? Now, let's peel this off. We have a surprise. It's not the needle. Remember, don't use the needle on the map. It's another tool on the compass. See? These red north-south lines inside the ring, they help you line up that N more precisely towards the top of the map. Match these north-south lines in the ring to the north-south lines on your map. See, I can use them and get that bearing right on. Now my bearing is more precise at 324 degrees instead of 320 degrees. See, that's how you take a bearing off the map. Here's something else to notice. On the map, you're using the side of the base plate instead of the direction of travel arrow for the line that points in the direction you want to travel. The angle is the same because the side of the base plate is parallel to the direction of travel arrow. Do you see that the angle is the same? Can you see how this is just like taking a bearing in the field, but you're using a different parts of the compass? Now that you know how to take a bearing off the map, you can start planning out your next adventure.